In this clip, we're going to look at the cosine rule, an in-context application. And what we've got is a scary moment. A regular hexagonal nut has sides of 19.4 millimeters. When you look at this, you'll think you're in an engineering class or something. And it's kind of scary for the minute. An adjustable spanner is used to tighten the nut. Calculate the distance between the jaws, which is this distance here, is what I'm looking for, between the jaws of the spanner. Give your answer in millimeters, correct to one decimal place. Wow, what am I going to do, you know? And sometimes crying is an option, but not in an exam, maybe. So here is the big moment. Will you draw the picture? I hope you will. Here's the hexagon look. That and that. And this and this and this. There's six sides. And they're all 19.4. Now, if you watch, these six angles here, six red dots, they're all equal. There's 360 degrees in a complete circle. 360 divided by six gives you 60 degrees. Each of those are 60 degrees. Now what's really useful is from there to there, from there to there, here to here, they're marked, they're all a radius if you want to call it that, or they're all equal, so here it is here. That piece is equal then to that piece. We know that's 60 already, so these two have to be 60 as well because these two sides are equal and then there's a kind of a eureka moment where you go wow look at this I've got three equal sides so this triangle is um, equiangular or an equilateral triangle all the sides are equal because all the angles are equal now a big moment for us and for me in particular is what size is this here what size is a and you'll know you're kind of cool if you realize that was 60 this has to be 60 as well and the two 60s together make up 120, so that's why A is 120. And that's a question just for myself as I chat about this question. But you can see here how valuable the diagram was. And it's so valuable, I actually drew it twice to help me with the explanation. Now, on with the show. Let's see what we're trying to do. We know this is 120. We know that this side here and this side here are equal, and they're 19.4 because they gave us that. And this H, this red line here, is the distance between the jaws. Now, I've used the cosine rule. I could do it another way. There's a, several other ways of doing it, but I'll call this the letter H. And the cosine rule is that A squared is equal to B squared plus C squared minus 2BC cosine A. So H squared, which is this one here, is equal to this one squared plus this one squared minus two times 19.4 by 19.4 by the cosine of 120. Now, if you look at it, it looks kind of scary for a moment because you've got this cosine rule, which is off-putting if you're not totally familiar with it. But then I know that this is h, so it's h squared, 19.4 squared plus 19.4 squared minus two times 19.4 by 19.4 by the cosine of 120. It's kind of um, ugly looking, as I say. 19.4 squared gives you this. 19.4 squared gives you this. And amazingly for me, when I work this out, because the cosine of 120 is minus a half, I get the same thing again here, which would make you think for a minute. So then add them up, and you get h squared equal to 1129.08, the square root of both sides, and then to one decimal, h is 3.3, 30, sorry, 33.6 millimeters. It's done.